Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. What I wanted to do in this video is focus on Todoist again. Um, now you guys know um, I'm a heavy user of Todoist. I think it's one of the best task management applications out there. And what I wanted to do today is actually focus on my setup, um, how I organize my Todoist. So as you can see, um, I have Todoist for Mac open here. Um, I use this on a daily basis. I use the Mac version only because there is a feature where you press uh, command uh, shift A um, and a really quick version of Todoist comes up. That appears anywhere when you're on the Mac. So whatever application you're in, it will appear. Uh, if I do it again, it will read Todoist blog every day, P2. It would actually gather that information and as soon as you press enter, it would enter it into the inbox, which is so brilliant. So as you can see, I've set up my Todoist with a very simple neutral design. Um, in Todoist free, you get four designs. You get, uh, uh, sorry, you get Todoist, which is the red color theme. Uh, you get black, uh, which is noir. Uh, you get neutral and you get tangerine. These are all free. You can use these how you like. If you've got premium, you can actually access all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's a gold if you actually activate that, I think if you have to get over a certain amount of uh, usage. The reason I use neutral, I don't know whether you can see, um, but if I were to just lower this for a second, as you can see, it blends straight into the Mac, uh, so there's no real top bar, it sort of blends into one. It looks great, um, it works great, so that's the reason I do it. As you can see on the left hand side, the one thing you'll hit with uh, to start out with is the emojis. Um, so what I've done here is every single project had an emoji next to it. Um, this actually doesn't affect uh, input. So for example, if you try and tag a project uh, with a hashtag, um, if, you put, if you type in do, for example, it will still come up. Um, it will just miss out the emoji. Um, so type as you normally do if you wanted to have emojis next to each of them. I think they sort of add a bit of color. I had them about a year and a half ago. Um, but I, I, I sort of went off them for a while, now I'm back on them. I really like the way that they sort of make uh, you feel when you're using it, it's sort of very playful. So a downside, I've got a do uh, project. Now this do project is very simply a place for me to put the things I'm working on today or things I'd like to work on today. Obviously you've got your today and next seven days, they're very due date specific. But if I wanted to put a list of items that are very priority, or a list of items that I'm working on currently to keep my focus, then I would put them here. So that's the reason I have that there. Inbox here is very a bit of a different um, sort of approach for me. So at the top, what I have is my sort of dump it inbox. So I will dump everything in there that is coming in. What I tend to do at the top is if they're priority, I will focus, I will prioritize them and put them in the next seven days. If they're not, what I tend to do and they need processing, I put them in the process inbox. So the process inbox essentially allows me to filter, go into here and filter down into these ones. These are all projects here. So there is, this is a sort of dump it inbox. This is a process inbox. So the reason I have those two, and I obviously put lots of stuff in there. The other thing I do have is a waiting on. This is a sort of pending uh, inbox and a sort of one for me to sort of keep an eye on any big items or small items that I'm waiting on for other people to complete. Over here I've got goals, um, so goals is broken down into health, career, university, Newton Mail which it, and Flash Sticks, which are both companies I work for, YouTube, freelance, family, personal and, and the student newspaper. So these are all ways I break down my Todoist uh, projects. As you can imagine, uh, it can get a bit mental if you see if you had lots of these going down. I think this is a fairly reasonable amount. These are all uh, you know, I will probably end up blending freelance and career soon. I'll probably end up blending family and personal, but you know, for the time being, this is a good amount of projects to be working on. I used to have a project folder for each of these with sub -proje project folders like inbox and recurring and other items like that, but it got quite confusing. Um, it did, you know, you don't want to have to scroll down this list necessarily. You sort of want it to be all in one view so that you can see it at a glance, go into any project you want any given time. So that's what I would recommend. Um, but yeah, I have all these obviously with the emojis next to them. I really like this setup. Um, I, it, you know, this is, this is not just me doing this overnight. This is maybe two or three years 
maybe four now, working solidly on improving this setup. So design it for yourself, design it for your own comfortable um, setup. One thing I would mention, um, one thing I learned is that, you know, every month what I do is I sit down with my Todoist or my task management system. So it's not, you know, over the top. Um, and I go, you know, what project folders are actually starting to blend, starting to blend now, or what project folders don't I need anymore? What could be put into uh, make you know less project folders? Um, and I sort of refine every single bit of my to do list workflow. So as you can understand, you know, this is a constantly improving system, um, and you should do the same. You should sit down monthly and do this versus weekly, because what I tend to see when people obsess over their productivity system weekly their results can be a bit damaging on your own productivity. Uh, I definitely re recommend doing a weekly review and I'll include a, an article by Paul Miners in this uh, description who does highlight the importance of weekly review. I think a weekly review is great. I personally do one, but I don't think it should be on the efficiency of your productivity system. Uh, I think it partly should be, but not entirely. At the bottom, I have relist. Uh, that's just an ongoing list of articles uh, that I can go into and read. The weird thing what I do with this, the thing I do with this is I actually use the inbox to save the top three items that I want to read about. So if I go into here what I do every day, you know, to get those three reading lists, I drag them into these three here and actually slowly reel off this reading list. It's become a sort of habit now and a really beneficial practice. One thing I recommend is labels as well. The way, the three ways I organize my label is energy levels, time, and equipment. Uh, so with time, this is something I use the least, but uh, five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute, allows me to quickly tap into these if I've got that period of time to work on them. Uh, equipment, iPhone, Mac, very useful for when I'm out and about. If I wanna click my iPhone, get some work done on my iPhone only. These can be things like searching on Twitter, you know, uh, replying to emails, just because, you know, when you're offline, you can't do the whole kit and caboodle. Um, same with Mac. Um, energy levels, you know, I might come out of a meeting or, or I might be doing a proactive task for two hours and I might be really stressed. Um, no, not necessarily really stressed, but I could be really, you know, lazy or, or you know, not feeling like I want to do a big task and I want, and I can hit uh, inactive or active and sort of get, get working on some. So these are, that's ever evolving. I actually need to review my uh, labels at the moment, sort of be using them a little more uh, in my system. Up here, what I've got is two um, uh, for the companies I work at. If I want to see my seven day view and I simply want to see everything in, in a project of that seven day view, I can then go and grasp that. I have a priorities items, which I need to fix. Um, recently I changed this. So what happens here is I put P1 items plus today, any inboxes that I have um, running, which give me a quick glance and I can actually go in and affect them. Anything that's specific on iPhone, although um, this is something that I need to tweak too. Inactive items and no due date. No due date actually is useful because I can see, um, you know, this item actually, it doesn't need to be able to slip. So I, I, I'll have to hunt that one down and actually bring it out. Um, same with a couple of others there. So there, there, that's sort of my general setup, guys. Um, obviously, as you can imagine, it's a very simple setup, something that worked over time. One thing I would recommend is when you're setting up all your ones is to constantly rename a project that's relevant. So for example, health and career, if I wanted to blend them, I would call it something like well-being or future. Just because when you're in the pro 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 bleh, productivity section and you hit the view completed tasks and you actually want to go into detail on all of your completed tasks and how well you've done on each of them, then it's gonna look bad if you've deleted one and it appears that you've done no work in that area. So just a suggestion and just a thought. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this setup. Uh, one thing I'm gonna push at the end of this is if you haven't subscribed, please do of um, replying to you, love hearing your stories. Um, so anyway, guys, please do subscribe if you haven't. I have an email newsletter, which I'll include in the link in the description. But anyway, guys, that's my to-do setup. Let me know about yours in the comments below. Thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.